For today's video, ang gagawin naman natin, tuturuan ko kayo kung paano mag-solve ng quadratic equation sa gamit ng completing the square. So, uh, completing the square is considered as the general process on how to solve quadratic equations kasi applicable siya sa kahit anong quadratic equations. Pero, um, there are other ways na pwedeng gamitin like factoring, extracting the roots, and using quadratic formula. Ito kasi, kahit anong equation pwede niyang isolve. Lalo na pag hindi factorable. So, what are the steps on how to solve quadratic equations using completing the square? Step number one, you need to move the constant term o yung C natin to the right side of the equation. And step number two, divide all terms by the coefficient of x. And then step number three, complete the square on the left side of the equation and balance this by adding the same value to the right side of the equation using this formula. Step number four, take the square root on both sides of the equation. And step number five, subtract the number that remains on the left side of the equation to find the value of x. So I have here three equations na solve natin. So let's get started. Let's have example number one. In example number one, we have x squared minus 14x minus 12 is equal to 0. So, kung mabalikan natin yung ating process dito, sabi dito, move the constant term c to the right side of the equation. So, dito, using the general form ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0, this is your constant. Your negative 12, you move nyo sa kanan, it will become x squared minus 14x is equal to 12. Then after that, you need to divide or you need to get the coefficient of your second term, which is your b, that is negative 14, divided by 2, and then the answer is negative 7. And then, your quotient, erase mo sa, neg sa 2, that will give you 49. Itong 49 natin, ito yung i-add natin sa left side and right side of the equation. So, basically, dapat, kung gusto nyo ng magandang pattern, pwede natin isulat tong second part as ganito, x squared minus 14x plus black is equal to 12 plus black. Kasi completing the square yung tayo. Dito natin nilalagay yung 49. So, our new equation is x squared minus 14x plus 49 is equal to 12 plus 49. So, next step natin is to simplify this part of the equation. Meron ka na nga yung x squared minus 14x plus 49 is equal to 12 plus 44 is 61. So, ang gagawin nyo ngayon, you need to factor out the left side of the equation or the trinomial. Kung mapansin nyo ngayon, um, since we already performed the complete the square, itong trinomial na to is a perfect square trinomial. And the factors of this one is equal to x minus 7 raised to 2 is equal to 61. Our next step natin is you need to extract the square roots of this part of the equation same as this part of the equation, magkakaroon ka ngayon ng x minus 7 is equal to positive negative 61. So, last step natin is you need to solve for the value of x. So, ang gagawin natin, you can transpose negative 7 to the other side of the equation. Pwede rin naman, mag-add tayo ng 7. So, add tayo ng 7, plus 7, and then dito ay plus, or transpose lang natin. You can transpose negative x minus 7, or 7, the other side of the equation, that will give you x is equal to positive negative 61 plus 7. So, pag sinimplify nyo to, you will have x sub 1 is equal to, use the first value of x, which is positive, or 61, 61 plus 
7. So, yung x sub 1 nyo is equal to 68. This is the first value of x. Now, for the second value of x, we have x sub 2 is equal to, let's use the negative 61. Negative 61 plus 7. The second value of x, or x sub 2, is equal to negative 54. Therefore, the values of x in the first equation is 68 and negative 54. That's it for the example number 1. Now, let's move on to example yes. number 8 plus 4x minus 15 is equal to 0. Ito yung example na to is quite different from the previous example kasi, as you can see, meron na tayo rito coefficient ng a na greater than 1. So, magkakaroon tayo ng extra step. Still, i-follow pa rin natin yung steps natin. Yung first step natin is we need to transfer negative 15 to the other side of the equation. So, ang magiging bagong equation natin ay 3x squared plus 4x is equal to 15. And then, ang next step natin is you need, to, you need to divide the whole equation by the coefficient of a, which is 3. So, divided by 3. So, simplifying this equation, ang new equation natin is x squared plus 4x over 3 is equal to 5. So ngayon, kung mapansin nyo, naglagay ako ng spaces para malaman natin kung ano yung nilalagay natin dito. So, dito na po ngayon mapasok yung ating completing the square. So, parang karoon tayo ng completing the square, you need to identify the value of b, which is 4 over 3. Yung 4 over 3 na yan will be divided by 2. And then, simplifying that, magiging 4 over 3 and then, yung reciprocal ng 2, which is 1 half, times 1 half. So, makakancel natin to. Ito magiging 2. This will give you 2 over 3. And then, e-square natin. That is 4 over 9. So, yung, itong 4 over 9 na to, ito yung dalagay natin dito para makomplete natin square. So, our new equation is x squared plus 4x over 3, sorry, 3, ah, sorry, 3, plus 4 over 9 is equal to 5 plus 4 over 9. Now, since nag-perform na tayo ng completing the square, ang mangyari niyan, itong left side of the equation natin is already a perfect square trinomial. So, ang gagawin natin, I-factor out natin, or kunin natin yung kanyang square of binomial. We have the quantity of x plus 2 over 3 raised to 2. So, paano natin nakuha yan? Kinuha natin yung square nito, which is x, and then yung square itong third term natin, which is 4 over 9. And ang problema naman natin ay yung simplified form ng right side. 5 plus 4 over 9. We can use butterfly method at lagyan natin ito ng over 1. So, i-multiply man na natin yung 4 and 1. That is 4. And then plus 5 times 9. That will give you 45 over 1 times 9, which is 9. Pag simplify natin to, this is 49 over 9. Ito na ngayon yung right side natin, which is 49 over 9. Next step natin is extract natin yung square root ng both sides of the equation. Cancel itong radical sign. Itong square root cancel na. This will give you x plus 2 over 3 is equal to positive negative 7 over 3. So, last step natin, we need to trans transfer, transpose 2 over 3 to the other side of the equation. So, our new equation is x is equal to positive negative 7 over 3 minus 2 over 3. Hindi pa tayo tapos dito kasi we need to get the exact value of x. So, solve natin yung x sub 1. 
your x sub 1 is kunin mo na yung positive part ng 7 over 3 so you have 7 over 3 minus 2 over 3 and simplifying your x sub 1 ito ngayon ay magiging 5 over 3 this is the first value of x and then for the second value of x you need to get first the value of x sub 2 so since tapos tayong gamitin yung positive sign ng 7 over 3 ang gagamitin nyo naman ngayon is yung negative 7 over 3 so negative 7 over 3 minus 2 over 3 pag simplify nyo yan your x sub 2 is negative 9 over 3 so pwede pa siyang lowest term your x sub 2 is equal to negative 3 now this is the value of your x sub 2 if ganyan yung values natin, therefore, the values of x are 5 over 3 and negative 3. So, these are the roots of the quadratic equation. So, if you have any question about this topic, pwede kayo mag-comment down below sa ating video para maklarify natin yung mga questions nyo about this process on how to solve quadratic equations. Again, I am Teacher Gon. Thank you.